Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings coming up this week. Two weeks in a row now, a St. Lucian rider cops the main event in Barbados racing at the Garrison Savannah. In Jamaica, red hot jockey Ren Lewis rides the poor little rich girl feature race winner as he uncorks his first ever career five-timer. A $300,000 stakes win for Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. at Presque Isle Downs in Pennsylvania. Big added money wins for TNT jocks Kim Al Santo and Bran Budram Singh at Canada's Hastings Racecourse. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success in North American racing. Our opening story from Barbados. A competitive six-horse field entered for the ninth furlong, the final handicap feature concluding the second season of racing at the Garrison Savannah. The favorite at 9-5, to five, number six, So Suave, winner of the Pride of Barbados trophy last month and boasting wins in three other countries, Ireland, the USA and Canada. Next best supported in the betting, the three-horse Vividly at 5-2, to two, number two, Jocular at 3-1 to one, and the favorite stablemate, Zico, the five-horse at 7-2 to two in the combox. Dean Springer picks up the call as they ran toward the home stretch. And the leader is Jocular. That lead down to just about a length and a half to two. On the inside, Brilliant using on the outside vividly. Behind these, so Swab is being shaken up. Zaid is beginning his run. Zico falling away. The mile completed in 116 and three inside the quarter pole. They come. And Jocular is still hanging tough on the inside. Wide on the outside. Here comes Zaid between them. So Swab vividly splitting horses. Brilliant News gets a seem to run through a candy quick and. It is Jocular on the outside. Here is Zaid. Jocular and Zaid. Zaid and Jocular. They're running to the world. It's the where they come. It's Saprobal. What a ride by the St. Lucian Eric Daniel from last to first aboard Zaid, the least fancied of trainer Jean Marcosia's three entries. Daniel's younger brother Aaron Daniel, having won last week's Ricky Griffith Memorial, and now the 31 year old with a fabulous win here. Eric Daniels steers Zaid to his third win so far this year, scoring at 92 odds in the US $11,000 feature. The final handicap by three quarters of a length over the Charles Williams pair of Jocular and Vividly. 1 minute 52 and 2 fifths the winning time for nine furlongs for trainer Jean Marc Cozier, who also owns the three year old Colt. Barbados racing now on a break onto the 3rd of November. Let's head to Jamaica now, where the main event on Saturday at Caymanus Park was a poor little rich girl seven furlong run, honoring the brilliant 1991 Horse of the Year and Darby winner. On a three race winning streak, number one is that a fact with leading jockey Ryan Lewis aboard for leading and champion trainer Jason Da Costa is the even money favorite. The four horse blue vinyl, the eight to five second favorite, coming off three wins in four starts so far this year. Number eight, Perfect Brew at five to two, and the nine horse Jordan Reigns, also popular at the betting windows. With a combined total of six wins from eight starts this year, the favorite is that a fact and second favorite blue vinyl, setting themselves up here for the stretch run, the favorite in front. But Blue Vinyl, last year's 2000 Guinness, and St. Leisure winner in third and closing. Watched in the combox by Bran Rickman OD. Is that a fact? Continues to lead up by some two and a half lengths. Jordan Reigns and Blue Vinyl continue the chase. Perfect Brew just in behind them. Five lengths separates them as they leave the three. A gap of six to the head corner stone. Two lengths in behind Sweet Majesty. Asked to go down against the rail. Outbidder toward the back along with Regal and Royal as they turn for home at the top of the lane in the poor little rich girl. And it is, is that a fact who continues to hold that lead? Perfect Brew and Blue Final now let loose and asked to close the gap. Is that a fact coming under some pressure? And the rider now calls for the stick in the left hand as they run past the furlong pole. Blue Final now finding top stride as inside the final 16th is that a fact beginning to run on fumes blue vinyl charging over the outside these two bobbing noses to the line it could be is that a fact is that a fact fights off blue vinyl for the narrow win in the ninth race feature Ryan Lewis's best day in the saddle ever in wins his fourth of five victories this on the card the 23 year old would land the 10th as well for his first ever five timer Carlton Watson's Is That A Fact, brilliant and courageous for her fourth win in a row, as the even money favorite scoring by a short head over blue vinyl in the poor little rich girl clocking 125 and two fifths for seven furlongs for trainer Jason DaCosta, who had a four timer on the card and also had a win at Thistledown in the USA this week. To that Safi Joseph Jr. store now, what a past three weeks the Barbadian trainer has had, winning the late August $1 million Charlestown Classic, followed by the $500,000 One Dreamer Stakes and this past weekend, the $300,000 Masters Stakes at Presque Isle Downs. 
For the Grade 2 event, jockey Edgar Zas took Safi's three-year-old filly, accomplished girl, to the front from the start, going six and a half furlongs against more fancied rivals. She was at five to one odds and heading for the final turn, being pressed here by the four to five favorite Loyalty. Loyalty is moving quickly on the outside, just a half length back. Racing in third comes Marissa's Lady. And on the inside, looking for racing room, will be Jill Jitterbug. As they head around the turn into the top of the stretch, accomplished girl trying to hold off the big favorite Loyalty right there on the outside. Down the center of the track, Marissa's Lady raises in third, up the inside, Midnight Stroll in with a chance, then comes Jill Jitterbug down the center, but it's all accomplished girl Edgar Zayas in town trying to hold off Midnight Stroll, who's coming quickly with Jose Ortiz. On the outside, Marissa's Lady is there. Gate to wire, accomplished girl, much the best here. Puerto Rico-born jockey Edgar Zayas, no stranger to winning races for Safi Joseph, skillful with a front-running win here for the 36-year-old Barbadians. 10th stakes win this year. Accomplished girl holds on to score in the master stakes by three quarters of a length, clocking 115.29, going six and a half furlongs for her third win in six career starts. As Joseph added to wins he had in the past week at his home track, Gulfstream in Florida, and New York's Belmont at the Big A. Finally, now to Hastings Race Course in Vancouver, Western Canada, where the Trinidad and Tobago jockeys. Kimal Santo and Bran Budram Singh were on a roll, recording massive added money wins. The 76th running of the British Columbia Derby over nine furlong Saturday, used by the 23-year-old Santo to record his biggest career win. Coming up on the outside here in the yellow cap aboard the 6-5 favorite, Accidental Hero. As they race to the top of the lane, eighth of a mile to go in the BC Derby, and Sunbird and Accidental Hero, they're right together. Accidental Hero now pops ahead in front, but Sunbird is game on the inside. It's Sunbird, Accidental Hero. It will be Accidental Hero to win it. A fine, confident win coming from behind this from Santo. He's already accomplished a lot as a young rider. In 2020, Santo, as a 20-year-old, became the first ever apprentice to win the Trinidad and Tobago Triple Crown, scoring with Wise Guy. And in only his second full season in Canada, logs a big one here, the British Columbia Derby. Oh, this one means a lot. And I must say thanks to the Winstables and the Connections, everyone, for believing in me and giving me a chance to achieve these things. Santo won the BC Oaks last year for the same Connections. Owners win racing stables and a trainer, Larry Grieve, and now cops the even bigger $125,000 BC Derby. The 6-5 favorite, Accidental Hero, scoring by a head over the 7-5 bet, Sunbird, clocking 150.05 for 9 furlongs. Third to the 5-1 to one shot, Space, ridden by TNT's Brand Boudram Singh, who did not leave Saturday's card empty-handed, as in the 6th race, Jack Diamond Futurity Stakes for 2-year-old Colts and Geldings. The 8-time TNT champion Boudram Singh made it gate to wire in an upset score aboard the 12-1 to one shot, Wealthy Texas. As they turn for home, it is Wealthy Texan with the lead, and down the lane they come. Wealthy Texan leads it by two. Vector in second, Northern Force third. Deep stretch now, it's Wealthy Texan by three. Wealthy Texan wins. In his first season in Canada, Brand Boudram Singh, champion jockey at TNT Santa Rosa Park the past four years in a row, gets a second stakes win this season in the land of the Maple Leaf. Wealthy Texas wins on debut by two and three quarter lengths under Boudram Singh at 12 to one odds. The third longest shot in the field, covering the six and a half furlong Jack Diamond run in 117.80. Our usual weekly tally of wins now for cabin racing men in the USA and Canada. Before we go, I've counted since our last show in the past week a whopping 81 wins. Among them, the Barbadian jockey Rocco the Jocker Boy with four wins at Emerald Downs, two at Thistledown, where the Jamaican jockey Robert Hardball Halladine had three wins, as did the Barbadian rider Rico Walcott at Woodbine. Stakes wins at Centre Downs for the Jamaican jockey Dane Nelson and the Barbadian Demario Bino. Bino also with stake success at Assiniboia Downs, along with the Barbadian trainer Devon Gittins, Jamaican jockey Chavian Chow, and the Barbadian rider Siobhan Bell. The Barbadian Antonio Whitehall closing the season at Assiniboia Downs as champion rider. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.